Hi! In this video, we're going to be talking about each of the languages and technologies that you will be learning throughout your Boolean journey, including what they do and why they are a must-have for your career. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. The M, as in markup, means that this is a language that we can use to describe content. In particular, HTML is used to describe the content of web pages, so the content that the browser is going to show to users. Did you know that the first version of HTML was created by Tim Berners-Lee in 1993? HTML syntax is actually very simple. The main building block is called a tag. You've probably seen it before thousands of times. It's that popular name surrounded by the greater than and the less than signs. We can use tags for anything from creating headings and paragraphs to creating images and creating videos, putting them all on the page. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. It is a language used in web development to create richly styled user experiences. If HTML is the skeleton of the page and describes the content, well, you can think of CSS as the skin describing what the pages will look like. CSS was first released in 1996. At the most basic level, CSS works in two steps. The first step is finding the element that we wish to style using a selector. The second step is, once we have the element, choosing the properties that we wish to change. For example, we can make the font color red or magenta or pink. We can change the background color. We can change the spacing. You can change many properties about your elements to make them look just the way you want them to. CSS is one of the pillars of web development. With it, you can turn a boring user web page into a magical user experience. Combined with HTML and JavaScript, you can use those three languages to create rich and modern web applications. At Boolean, we start off with a strong HTML and CSS foundation, giving you everything you need to know to build rich user experiences, which will be the backbone of your career and the entire course as well. JavaScript is a programming language. It was created by Brandon Eich in 1995. And like any other programming language, we can use it to give detailed instructions to our machine and tell it exactly what it is that we want to do and to achieve. JavaScript is the most versatile programming language, and it has taken the world of development by storm. You can use it to create anything, from web applications to mobile applications, games, servers, or even to control your thermostat or your toaster. Because of that, it is an amazing first programming language to learn. And at Boolean, once you've learned your HTML and CSS, we will dive straight into JavaScript and you can use it to turn your static web pages into rich, dynamic applications. React is a tremendously popular JavaScript library. Did you know that React was actually created in 2011? At first, it was just used by Facebook for their own application. Later, it was used by Instagram in 2012. And then finally, in 2013, it was introduced to the public at a dev conference and it changed the world of development forever. At its core, React allows us to build web applications in a declarative way. It lets us think about our application as a lot of tiny components that we can compose together, as opposed to one big block of content. React can be thought of as a power-up for JavaScript. It makes creating web experiences more structured, scalable, and fun. TypeScript is a programming language, and it was first created in 2012 by Microsoft. It can be thought of as an extension over JavaScript, adding many features to the language, like types and interfaces, that developers thought were sorely needed. Because TypeScript eventually gets transformed into JavaScript, it can basically be used as a replacement for JavaScript. And you can use it for anything from building web pages, mobile applications, games, servers, you name it. TypeScript has been booming in recent years, and it's incredibly popular in the job market and very useful too. Node.js is a JavaScript runtime created in 2009 by Ryan Dahl. At the score, Node.js is a tool that allows you to take JavaScript outside of the browser allowing you to create scripts and server solutions. Because Node.js uses JavaScript, it allows web developers to very easily transition from the world of clients and user interfaces to the world of backends and servers, allowing you to create entire applications by yourself. Before Node.js was released in 2009, we could only write JavaScript inside the browser. After 2009, this unleashed a torrent of potential for JavaScript, and it helped it become the popular language it is today. Let's say that you wrote a piece of software. How do you know that the software is going to work reliably the way you expect to? Tests are essentially supplementary code to test the main code you've written, and they allow you to move with confidence, knowing that if anything ever breaks, you'll be notified on the spot, and you'll be able to fix it right away. Whatever you're writing, tests will make your application more robust. Have you ever heard of TDD? 
It stands for Test Driven Development. And the way it works is quite simple. Usually, what you do is you write code, and once you're done, you write the test for the code. With TDD, you flip that around, and instead, what you do is you write the test first before you even write any code. The test will fail, and then you write the code to make the test happy and make it pass. Approaching applications in this way can lead to very thoughtful design. If you're passionate about programming, and you dream about having a tech career, and you want to invest in your future, then Boolean is probably the right course for you. Find out more about our six-month software engineering online course by going to our website.